Yeah, that's where we are. Whipple Superchargers. And this is the guy, Dustin Whipple. So he chose the, and this is, tell, yeah, tell us why you chose, this is a three liter. The three liter Gen 5. It's Gen one our, 5. One of our newer, more, most popular supercharger systems for the uh, LS and LT market. And uh, we picked this because it really fits better because it's got uh, um, what we consider a driver side inlet. So it allows for a lot easier air ducting to the one side. And uh, it's one of our more efficient superchargers. So the most amount of power out of your LS. Gen 5, three liter intercooler. Oh, oh wow! Farm plate intercooler with uh, what we call microfin, which is uh, really high density, so we're limited by the size to try to get it into the manifold. So okay, we try to uh, get as much water flow and airflow through there, and as much cooling as possible in this small area you can. And Chris is the one who's going to set it up. Yep, Chris has uh, been with us for about twenty years, and uh, twenty years really? Yeah, yeah. He was a lot shorter then, though. Bro, do you even yeah. skate? Did you get the van shirt? No, if you just wear the shirt, it's all good. This age. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Chris is going to, he's got the lower rotor pack already assembled. So, he'll. Rotor, okay. Yep. And he'll slide that in and he'll do all the rest of the assembly here. Excellent. And Whipple.com, Whipple Superchargers.com. Whipple Superchargers.com for any questions, LS, Coyote. Hemi, whatever it takes. Toyota, even. Toyota, yeah. even. that's right. You, yep. do, you do a lot of trucks. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yep. Okay. And boats. And, and do lots of boats, yeah. Big blocks, uh, small blocks? Uh, we do some small blocks, yeah, but mainly the big blocks is the biggest, you know, the biggest market. But yeah, Very good. And what are the rotors made out of? You guys design all your rotors? Aluminum. Yep, do that all in-house. Uh, they're made of uh, aluminum, so it's a special uh, you know, extrusion that we get, and then we, uh, we cut them here, and then we measure them, and then we coat them off-site. Bring them back in, check them again, and then put them together. Very nice. How long does it? Well, we'll see. But how long does it take for to, to assemble one of these things? Um, a kit like this, start to finish, is generally about forty-five minutes. That's it. Yep. Unbelievable. Yep. Unbelievable. Forty-five minutes for a, a night and day difference. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. You got to get to work. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I, I'll just be bouncing around, so just you know, need me anything. Whatever. Okay, we'll do. Get this. I'm going to make sure they got the small parts pulled already because that, that's just little boxes that go with fuel rails and those kind of okay. things. Because uh, you just want to see it. Yeah. So we, what we do is we only assemble the blower and then Wagner accessorizes it, right? So he does the map sensor and wiring. Casey loves accessorizing. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So and that's because you guys have that 57 over there. He's got a beautiful 57. I just saw yeah. Columbus. Yeah, and it's got his uh, valve covers, everything on there. He exactly. made for us. And then, yeah, so we do a lot, a lot Very more nice. Wagner, for sure. All right, get to work. Right, Thanks thank again. You. See right, thank you. you. Very much. All right. All right. So what? Yeah. So what have you done so far already on it? I just gathered everything up here and make sure we have everything. Okay. Yeah. Everything All right. So you haven't done really anything of that. No. Okay. If I'm in your way, yeah. Yeah. How many of these do you do a day? Uh, currently doing 45 to 50 a day. But you? No, as a team they do. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually dealing with more of the service side now, and repairs and rebuilds. Okay. Which, do you prefer that? Uh, it is what it is. Yeah. You've been here 20 years. Uh, how'd you get your start here? What? Uh, a friend of mine was working here, and I got my foot in the door. He started in the wiring room, the wiring harnesses, and, and went up to assemble in, and then went to dealing with the actual assembly of the floor. How much wire? There's wiring harnesses in these things? There used to be one. Okay.
mili. It's like valve shims? Or? Yeah. Just checking the clearances here. What's your clearance, Clarence? This is probably the first time you've ever heard that, right? No shit, huh? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Why'd you take the small one out and redo it? It's because I'm trying to line these holes up. The holes in the gear have to line up with the holes in the hubs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so they're hand tight. Now you're double checking to make sure nothing's right. changed. Right. Right. Look at those spin. That's cool. Like there's no resistance at all. No, there's, it's minimal. And what is? What's the black coating? This is an abradable coating. Abradable? Yeah. So what happens is, it, in the initial wear in, it'll it'll swipe off anything where it's making contact, and then after that, you just go. It's a basic self level stuff for the most part. Okay. Look at that faint. Yeah. yeah, that's just where they're just barely sweeping. Okay, and that's a good thing. Yeah, no, it's not bad. So it is. It's a little tighter. It's a little set, a little bit too tight. Aha. Take it off and loosen it up. And then I just go around twice to make sure. Yeah. And not Allen's, they're what? Torx? Bit? These are Torx, yeah. Okay. on here to make sure it stays. Oh, it's glue. Nah, this is a, uh, it's just grease. Grease, sorry. Yeah. All right. It's just so when, it, when I flip it over to put it on, 
doesn't pop out. Make sure it doesn't fall out. Same uh, 120? No, this is uh, about 17, 18 foot pounds. Okay, a oh, foot pounds, all right. Upside down. There's only quite a few over here. <laughs> I was <just> kidding. <laughs>
Is that? It's a bypass blade. It's a, it's a valve when it's a engines and vacuum and it holds it open. Basically, it circulates the, the air. Okay. And with it closed, we can to loose. Okay. It helps uh, prolong the life, the life of the door. Uh huh. To, uh, to dissipate heat. Yeah, just to, to make sure it can't. Wow, strong. My head. I do okay. the same thing every time. And it was like an intake medical yeah. okay. Some stuff we do that, yeah. Bypass uh, actuator, vacuum actuator. Okay. The controls. The bypass vacuum actuator. So under, under vacuum, it pulls it open. 
and then and the grooves sort of push it closed. Okay. And then that allows the grooves to blow. That's that part, that's the, the top or the... Plug it home? Yeah. During the install, it looks like I'm right back Oh, and that's where the intercooler is going to sit. Yeah. Okay. This is going to sit in there. And what's that white stuff? Hi, Tim. Oh, it is ceiling, okay. White and the black. Uh, just the white ones you put on here for the little board. Whatever. Okay. It's just how it is. Yeah.
So what kind of uh, oil does it take? It takes a, it's a, it's a it's called my oil, excavate oil. It's the uh, same thing they use in air compressors. Uh, okay. Some pumps and stuff here, here All right. Um, and that'll happen at uh, Wagner? Yeah, it'll go, you now. you guys will put it in, in during the installation. Okay. There it is. <laughs> the removal for flight sticker. Yeah. So wait, that's it? That's all done. There you go. Unbelievable. Chris, Easy. thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. Um, and good for thousands of miles. Yeah. Right, we'll, yeah, we'll soon find out. Um, yeah, thanks again, Chris. Cool. All right, yeah. there you go. He just built it. It sure is pretty. Whipple, all that. Whoa. Not allowed to look in there, sorry. Okay. Don't show it to everybody, sorry. <laughs> That's what I'm taking videos for, man. Now where we're going. Over here, the guy over here, Peter, he, he does a quick once around around it and he marks it off on his uh, to ship it. Okay. That's where it will be it's uh, all the rest of the kit parts for it. Okay. Come together. Oh, a couple of blue Shelby's. And that's the guy who gives it the final once over. He does the once over on it and he marks it off the Chickety check. Nice. All right, and that's it. We're off. Thank you, sir. No problem. Enjoy. All right, find out where the rest of the stuff's at for it. And we're off to uh, shipping. Yeah, we're going going for shipping. Okay. We have the reasons are all cold here. They're waiting on something to come in and, and until they get whisked back. away. Yeah. Oh, you mean? Oh, I got you. So those are all the okay. All right, we got everything on the cart. I got Zach here. What all is on the cart? The, the whole kit. What's the kit? So basically, you got your fuel rails, mounting bolts, gaskets, throttle body adapter, throttle body here. You got... Oh, the throttle body is included, okay. Yes, you got a 109 millimeter throttle body. That's right. part of your kit. And then you got filler reservoir for the, cool, the intercooler system, heat exchanger down there, intercooler pump, intercooler harness. Basically, everything to keep it cool and keep it... Or mounted to the motor, basically. Awesome. And then uh, basically prep for your Wagner belt system. Awesome. Yep. Now where we're we going? Um, it's going to get boxed. Andrew over here is going to 
So he's gonna double check it and then he's gonna box it for you so you can take it home. It's getting shipped, but uh or we'll ship it to wherever. Yep, it's gonna get shipped over to where it's going. Yeah, Wagner. Yep. yep. Thank you, sir. Yep. That's my car out right there. Hey. You're the box man? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. All right. That's how they do it. Got quite a flare for ripping that off. Yeah. Been for a little bit. How many years you been here? Uh, a little over a year. Yeah, you like it? Uh, yeah. Blower gets its own box. Yeah, I just want to make sure it's by itself so it doesn't get damaged by any parts rattling around, hitting it, completely sealed with foam. Best protection it can get. Make sure it gets there safe and sound. Box one of two. Oh. So that one's ready to go. Awesome. Careful. Box two of two. Mm -hmm. Hand to me at Wagner Automotive. There's two. 
There's one. They're coming to you, Casey, buddy. And I'll see you in October, my friend. All right, Whipple and Wagner. It's like Forrest and Jenny and peanut butter and butter. Peanut butter and jelly.